Don't mind me. Just a bear. <coughs> Casually eating his delicious lunch. <coughs> Hello, Jammer here, and welcome back to another mod showcase inside the lab. Here we are. It is great to be back, finally, at the Jare Bear and Nebanova Labs. Oh my gosh, Kelvin! Hello, Kelvin! How are you, my wonderful four-footed friend? How are you? <laughs> I don't know how that worked. Oh, but look at this. This is just a wonderful, beautiful day to, to get mixing genes, and I will get to that in just a moment. How are you this fine morning, Dr. Nebanova? Well, that is wonderful to hear. Let's get going with some genetic splicing. Because, of course, today we will be showcasing the Advanced Genetics mod. So, um, let me just get into this mod right away. So, first of all, let me point out that in this mod you are going to be needing a lot of coal. Um, <laughs> of course, this isn't quite as much coal as Galactic Craft, because those of you who have played Galactic Craft do... <laughs> You definitely know that that is such a strain. I mean, just working with with all of the, the coal and making all of the steel and galactic craft to get to uh, just, just building your... It is a crazy mod. But um, you're going to need coal because you're going to be using coal in these things called the combustion generators. So let me just show you the recipe for the combustion generator. Um, the combustion generator is crafted just like so. You have three iron on the top, three iron on the bottom, a spider eye, and two furnaces. And so that will give you the combustion generator. Every one of the machines in this mod is going to require power. The power can be outputted on the left and the right of a combustion generator. And I believe possibly on the top, but I only know that they work to the left and to the right. And so... Um, let's just dive right into this here. So first of all, you're going to need these things called stone sticks. Stone sticks, literally just, well, exactly what you'd expect. Two cobblestone. Um, it actually makes two sticks instead of four sticks. And to make the scraper, you're going to need two stone sticks and an iron ingot. That will be used to obtain some skin sails, which I will show you in just a moment. And here we have the syringe. And the syringe is crafted just like so with three iron ingots arranged in an in, in upside down bucket fashion, a glass bottle and an arrow because you're gonna need to prick yourself, to stick yourself, to draw some blood. So anyways, um, let's get into this and let's get some animals here. I guess we'll um, sample the, the sheep first. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn a sheep and then let's take our little syringe here. And oh, I, I'm stupid, I, I don't even remember <laughs> how Minecraft works in that sense. So. What we can do is if we go into game mode S here, we can, uh, we're going to need the scalpel as well. So let's grab the scalpel. And what we can do is we can right click this sheep. And what it's going to do, it's going to hurt that sheep. And so I'm going to get it a couple more times. Oh, come on back. Come back here, sheep. And so let's grab some of these skin scales here. These are, yeah, it's, that's what they call them. Skin scales of a sheep. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take these skin scales and we're going to need to put them in the DNA analyzer. And so, of course, this needs power. It uses three coal to analyze one skin scale. As you can see, that was 63. Now it's down to 62. And it will take one more, the 61st. And it will finish that this is probably the slowest machine in this mod. But so what it's going to do is it's currently analyzing the, the skin. And it's trying to analyze the DNA inside of the skin. Now, those of you who don't know, every single cell in the body, whether it be skin, whether it be neural cells, whether it be, you know, your optical cells from your eye or, you know, um, even stomach cells, they all have the same amount of, of DNA. And so we have the organic drop here. Um, I may explain the use of that a little bit later. And so here we have the DNA extractor. So you put the cell of a sheep, which was obtained from analyzing the skin cell. And this is faster, the DNA extractor. Um, but it, it's, it still uses a little bit of energy. And believe me, this coal is going to be going down very quickly. Um, I mean, you, you know, again, I've got an extra chest there. So the extractor will obtain this double helix. But this is just a code. We can't understand any of that. So you put that in the decryptor. Obviously, there's another... Um, combustion generator there and we put the helix in there and that will decrypt it so it will tell you what um, kind of thing it is but while we're at it let's take this syringe and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold right click and then you're going to 
draw some of your own blood there and it's been filled. And so what we're also going to need is every time you get a fresh syringe, it needs to be centrifuged. So um, actually, let me get into the crafting recipes of some of these items here. Um, so let me show you the analyzer is going to be crafted just like so. You're going to need iron ingots all the way around, and you're going to need this thing called a magnifier. A magnifier is one stone stick and one glass. And so to craft the extractor, you're going to need a basic DNA dictionary, which is crafted with um, some of those cells, which you get from the, uh, which was, I got a cell from the DNA analyzer by putting some of the skin sales in there, scales, I mean. And so you're going to need that, which is four cells surrounding a book, and then you'll put iron ingots around that with the dictionary on top and a hopper. And so that, the DNA extractor, um, will of course give you that encrypted helix. And then you take the DNA decryptor. And you need another one of those basic DNA dictionaries, some paper and iron ingots, seven iron ingots around there. And that will make you de the decryptor. And so then it, um, it, it says here that we actually obtained two of the genes that the, the sheep has. Now there, there are three genes that you can get from the sheep. You can get the woolly, the eat grass gene, or you can get the basic gene, which any animal has. The basic gene, um, you can get basic genes from anything and, and I'll, I'll explain the use of those later. Um, and so we've got the DNA decryptor and so we've got here the DNA splitter and so we're going to put that in here and we're going to need to pick one of these two genes that we want. Now let me explain, with the woolly gene what's going to happen is that that you cannot inject yourself with it. You can actually though inject other animals with it. So what you're going to need to do is instead of taking my own blood like I did, um, I, I took my own blood and then centrifuged it, you take it from an animal by sticking it into an animal such as the sheep, for for example, or no, I'm sorry. Let, let, let's take another example. Um, let, let's say a, a cow, for example. And if we were to take a cow's blood and then centrifuge it, we can combine the woolly gene, and I'll explain how to do that a little bit later. We can combine the woolly gene and then jack the cow with that, and then we can shear a cow just like we can a sheep. Um, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if there's a cool down time just like there is with sheep to grow back. Um, I'm pretty sure there is. And with the eat grass gene, we can inject ourselves with that, which I will select. And then we can eat grass, as um, you may have may have seen me have my, my lunch in the beginning of the, the video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a couple of grass blocks and place those down in the place of the dirt here. And we will just take these grass blocks and then I will combine the eat grass gene with, um, jeez, I need to figure out these doors after all this time. And so the DNA splitter, again, allows you to select which one you want. So as you can see here, we got the eat grass gene, but also we got some more of that organic drop stuff. And then what we need to do is we need to take some of our own blood, which is centrifuged, just like that. Um, and as you can see here, it's just the gene eat grass. We can't actually combine that with our blood yet. What we need to do is put it into the breeder. And as you can see here, it says breeder state eight, um, zero out of eight. And so what we're going to need is actually you need to obtain some more of these genes. So we need to go all the way through this process and put it through the splitter. And you can take, um, you can select one of the same gene or you can get the basic gene. So let me show you for example. We'll take the basic gene, um, which we can have a basic gene, or another eat grass gene. Um, and so what we can do here, apparently there is no other eat grass gene. Um, you, you can't actually get this particular eat grass gene naturally, uh, I mean in creative mode. It's, it's pretty much dysfunctional. What you have to do is you have to get eight um, either of these, um, more, more of these, uh, gene, eat grass genes, and then you breed it and you put it here and then it goes into, um, this gene here. So you need eight either eat grass genes or eight basic genes or a mix of all of them. So you're going to see here, I put the basic gene in. This will work with breeding any gene at all. And so there you see there's one. And so I am going to grab seven more of those basic genes. Um, they do not stack, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to grab four more and put one more there. Another basic gene. Basic. 
And, and so, again, you, you have to breed the gene. And so we can put one more, and then that will be three, four, five, six, seven, and we're still going to need one more, which we can grab here, and then we will breed this um, gene. And as you can see there now, the gene says breeding. Now, again, this is still dysfunctional. It still means nothing. We still need to breed it all the way until breeding state is 8 out of 8, and then this will say completed. And then we can combine it with our centrifuge, and that will be able to um, be used. And <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I can see that we are 10 minutes into this mod. It, it is quite a complex mod. I mean, we are toying around with genetic engineering here, and it is quite a complicated subject. And we want to make sure that we do it right and we don't give ourselves the wrong genes because, well, that can mutate, ourse mutate ourselves in, in, a, in not a good way. So as you can see here, the eat grass gene has been completed because I put eight basic genes in there. But again, like I said, you can put um, eight of the eat grass genes or a mix of the two. And then we need something called the DNA combiner. And I realize I didn't show you the recipe for the centrifuge or the splitter. So the splitter is crafted like so. You need a diamond in the middle, which was this machine we used on the left here. Um, the splitter was what we used to select which gene we wanted to take out of the cell, um, or the double helix, I mean. And so we, we have iron ingots around, another one of those basic DNA dictionaries, and a diamond to get the DNA splitter here, which allowed us to select which gene we wanted. Um, with the centrifuge, the centrifuge requires four syringes, four iron ingots in the corners, and one of those basic dictionaries, which we have to spin up our, our every single time you get fresh blood, um, you need to put in there. And then the breeder. The breeder is going to be, um, it, it's going to be kind of like an anvil, I guess, um, except there's iron ingots on the top. You put a basic dictionary, two iron ingots there, and kind of four along the bottom there, and two wheat. Fairly random, I know. Um, and then what we need is the DNA combiner. So let me show you the recipe for that. You need two of those cells, a syringe, basic dictionary, two iron ingots on the top, and three across the bottom. And so what we do is we put our centrifuge, has to be centrifuge syringe. It can be our, um, our genes, or it can be those of another animal. Like I said, if we wanted to make a cow woolly, this would be a cow's um, blood centrifuged. And then we put the, the gene that we want to put ourselves with. Now, again, you can put more than one gene into one syringe. So let's say I got a whole bunch of different genes. Um, I mean, like, for example, like, you know, um, you can, uh, uh, sheep can eat grass, an enderman can teleport, creeper can explode itself, um, a chicken has no fall damage, you can swim in lava with zombie pigmen, breathe underwater with the squid. And so I could put all of those genes into one syringe combining them. And so this syringe has just been filled. It's changed, and as you can see, it says filled. It also has to say syringe, so we need to put it right, I mean, uh, centrifuged. So we need to put it through the centrifuge again before we can finally inject ourselves with that because it says um, centrifuged and filled. And so let's just um, take down our health a little bit so that we can get some hunger so that we can go have some delicious grass for lunch. Um, I'm sure it will be very tasty, and so... Let's just wait for some of our hunger to go down a little bit there. Hopefully, in just a second, we will be losing some of our hunger. Um, and while we're at it, let's stick ourselves with the syringe. And so we got a little bit nauseous there. Um, and we still are lacking some hunger. And so whenever you stick yourself... Okay, there we go. So now you're going to see that we have the eat grass gene. And so if we go in here and we right-click on the grass without the syringe in our hand, no hand. As you can see, I just burped. I am eating some delicious grass. It fills half a hunger bar. And so now, let's just say, for example, that I am kind of sick of having this, this, you know, this eating grass. I mean, like, just I'm getting tired of the flavor of grass. It just, it just tastes so bad, you know? And so what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to actually take the same cell and what we're going to need is we're going to need one of these one of these antigenes. Now, an antigene um, is created almost the same way as a regular gene, except I'm going to take an eat grass gene that I got from a sheep. Let's put some more of those skin scales in here. And so um, 
there. Let me actually show you how to craft something called an overclocker since that thing is very slow. An overclocker is four redstone with a clock in the middle. And so that will actually speed up things, uh, speed up machines. So you right click on it. And then if you look inside, it says overclockers one. And so it's actually going a little bit faster. I believe it also uses more power, but I guess it's kind of worth it. So let's put this in the extractor as we've had to do before. Let's right click it with our overclocker. Um, and I obviously sped it up a lot. It uses up your overclocker every time you do it, but it, it keeps that overclocker, I, I believe, um, as long as you have it. So I'm going to put this in the decryptor, and I'm going to spam it with some overclockers, make it really fast. Now, unfortunately, we got the woolly. That is not what I wanted. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to get the basic gene. Um, or I mean, you're going to get the eat grass gene or the basic gene again, and you're going to... Um, select those to be able to create it, but instead of putting it in the breeder, you put in the transmutator. So you put the gene or um, the gene there, and then you put a whole bunch of. Uh, you have to put it in the transmutator, and then you put a whole bunch of genes through there, and then it will create something called the antigene. So pretty much instead of using the breeder, you just use the transmutator. And let me show you how that is crafted. Transmutator is crafted with three cells, two iron on the top, the DNA dictionary, and three iron ingots on the bottom. And so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to find the um, anti... I'm just going to find the eat grass. And so the eat grass antigene, there's the um, there's the eat grass antigene, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another syringe of my blood, which again needs to be centrifuge. So let's take some of my blood, and then let's put it here in the centrifuge. And I do apologize, this mod showcase is so long, but again, this is one complex mod. And so we're going to, need to take this centrifuge syringe. Let's put it instead of in the combiner, we need to put it in the remover because we have an antigene. And so if we go into creative mode, I'll show you that the remover is crafted. Let's see, there's the remover. With two iron ingots, two syringes, a cell in the middle, a basic dictionary, three iron ingots across the bottom. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take our antigene, and we are going to put it in here with our centrifuged blood, put the antigene here, and what it's going to do is it's going to remove it. And so as you can see, the overclocker just was consumed. It uses one overclocker, but um, it will continue to be overclocked, as you say. So that, that's the cool thing about it, is that each machine uses one for each time, and as you can see, it's overclocked by one. Um, but it will keep working as long as you keep using the machine, or you can overclock it more like times five by spending more overclockers on it. Um, they are a little bit expensive, but, you know, they're, they're you know, kind of worth it, I guess, cause since they stay on there. And so let's centrifuge the syringe again, and then we can inject it with ourselves. and I will go and show you that we will not be able to be eating grass anymore. So, of course, we're going to get nauseated just like before. But as you can see, I'm hungry. So let's wait for this nausea to go away. I'm going to try and eat this grass, and what do you know? I am right-clicking it, and it is not letting me eat the grass. So that is how you remove the genes. Um, again, there are tons of different... Um, things to fiddle around with. I will leave the, the website in the description. Like I said, I mean, with the Enderman, you can, um, you know, and here, let me show you. Um, in the controls, you've got all of the different things. Like if you um, go with a witch, you can get throw potions, teleport with an Enderman, shoot fireballs from a ghast, shoot explosive fireballs. Or no, this is from a ghast, shoot fireballs is from the, the blaze and blow yourself up, of course, that's a creeper. And so you can give yourself all the genes from all these animals. Of course, you have to obtain them and stuff. Um, so that's that. Um, that is most of the mod, and that is pretty much the, the part of it that you could have. And so with the microscope, what you can do, let's say, for example, that I had myself um, a syringe of my blood. And after I had injected myself with um, the the genes let, let, let's say I, i'd had myself quite a few different genes that i'd already in, injected myself with i can fly um which is what you get from a bat no fall damage from a chicken perfect combination to put together and then i took a syringe of my blood i could actually analyze that in the microscope um so right now i'm actually just going to have um you know nothing special right and so i think it actually has to be centrifuged as well so let, let's just say, for, example, for an example, that I had quite a few different genes. 
you know, um, not just my normal genes. So I, I would take my blood sample and then centrifuge it, and I would right-click on the microscope. Now, as you can see, right now it's completely blank because I have nothing. I, I don't have any any special genes because um, I just took them off. But let's just take an example here. Um, what would happen is there would be these little floating circles, and it would kind of you know do its little analyzing thing. And you could click on the circles, and it would tell you what gene it was, and it would tell you um, what kinds of genes you had and stuff like that. And so let me show you. I'm going to go into creative mode and show you a couple more of the more advanced machines and things in this mod. So you have the auto scraper. Let's just say, for example, you had a pen full of animals, and then you just place this thing down in the middle. It actually needs power, so you could put you know, a combustion generator there. And you had just animals around it. What it would do is it would keep kind of scraping them. And eventually it would kill them because it takes away one damage from animals each time. Um, and including mobs, and, and you could just obtain their scales until they're dead, and you just have a whole bunch of them. So that's the, the auto scraper. Um, let's just look here at the, where is it? The auto splitter. And so this thing, the DNA auto splitter, what it would do is if you kept putting, um, you know, the DNA in there, obviously the regular splitter lets you select which genes that you wanted to obtain. Um, but what the auto splitter would do is it would keep automatically, I, I believe you can put a hopper in a chest to keep putting stuff in it. It might work with buildcraft. I, I don't believe this mod does. It doesn't work with very many things, this mod. It, yeah, it, it's more of an individual mod type of um, thing. It works with a couple different mods, but not, not all. And so the auto splitter would actually just automatically select um, the, the basic gene consistently, which would be um, helpful in trying to breed or transmute your different genes, right? So that would be um, that, the auto, um, auto splitter. And so when we look here, these are two of the more advanced machines. We have the insulator and the DNA cloner. Now, these things, I haven't fiddled around with them much, but they are a little bit complicated. And so to insulate the, the cell, let, let's just um, let's go back. And, and so let, let, let's, let's take some more um, from our lovely little, sh little sheep over there who is just willing to, I mean, look at that. He's just standing up there like, come on, come up here. Get some more scales from me. And so we're going to, of course, analyze these again. I'm going to grab some more overclockers so that we can make this really, um, really fast and stuff. And so I am going to spam this thing with overclockers and get it going fairly quickly. And so let's analyze this cell here. Let's use our overclocker. And so that gives us that helix. Let's put it through the decryptor. And so that will give us the well, egress. And as you can see, there's the basic gene there. And so what we can do is we can take this over here and we can insulate this helix. At least I thought we could. The insulated helix, oh, I, I think we have to split it. And so, let's see, I, I'm going to need to review this. Um, I'm going to look on their page here to see about it. So the DNA cloner, first of all, I mean, insulator can insulate helixes and cells, helices and cells. And so the cloner allows you to clone mobs. And so I'm going to go into the GUI here. And as you can see on the bottom, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put an insulated helix of the mob that you want to clone on the bottom. It needs to be insulated. Now, to create an insulated helix, I thought for sure that you just had to um, put it there. It might need to be undecrypted, so I'm going to put this through here. Um, let's grab the, the cell of the sheep, and so let's put it through the extractor. I don't know. According to their site, you have to have an insulated helix. And so let, let's see, because the only two helices that there are are the undecrypted or the encrypted in the encrypted or decrypted ones, which is why I'm kind of confused that it's not going through. But according to that, you need to have a encrypted, you, you need to have a helix. And then you put the helix on the bottom slot right here, as you can see my mouse there. And then you're going to need to apply a custom spawned mob by putting the syringe with the DNA in the upper slot. So the, the syringe that you want to um, inject, of course, and then you need to have at least one insulated mob cell. Now, the cool thing about this thing is that this is where you would, you know, select the kind of DNA that you want the animal to have. And you need to have one cell, at least one cell of the mob that is going to be cloned with the current 
genes. So what, what cloning actually does is it takes these genes and creates another animal that has these specific standards with the cell that you put in here. Now, with one clone, like with one clone cycle, you can actually put up to nine insulated cells in here at a time. And so what that will do is that will create nine cells with um, those genes, I believe. And so those can be, um, you can create yourself um, some mutated mobs that have the certain powers that you'd like to have. Um, <laughs> this video, I mean, I'll, I'll just go over a couple more of these things. Um, you know, here's all the anti-genes. There's the magnifier. Um, homeostasis tube, I believe, helps you maintain. Um, uh, of course, homeostasis is, is not in changing. Um, then you have, let, let's just take these two insulated helix, helices, an insulated cell, and let's just show you about the cloner. So we have to put an insulated there, and then an insulated helix here. Now, it, it's not giving me the recipe for these, so that, that's a little bit unfortunate. And then we're going to need to do, is we're going to need to have a syringe with the DNA that we want to have in this animal. So let, let's just take the syringe and have some fun with the sheep here. Because <laughs> we'll, we'll mutate the sheep and we'll give him, we'll give him the infinite milk mod uh, the, so we can milk him. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that sheep blood, which apparently is green, and we're going to need to, oh, look what I'm doing. You need to centrifuge the sheep blood and so, of course, like every time it's filled, it needs to be centrifuged as well. So let's take the centrifuged blood, and then let's put it with the, um, I mean the combiner. And so let's put the centrifuged blood there, and then the infinite milk gene, and so that's going to go there. And let's grab some more of those insulated cells, um, just so that we can create... Oh, yes, and the invalid cell, um, I, I, I was talking about the, um, what was it, the... Auto splitter, and so remember how it automatically selects um, the the basic gene. Well, sometimes the basic gene isn't always there, and so what the the um, auto splitter will spit out is an invalid cell um, if there is no um, if there is no basic gene in there. So our syringe is filled, and then we need to recentrifuge it, and then I believe we can stick it in the cloner, and then we can create some um, some clones that. Um, can be milkable, some sheep clones. So if we put the insulated cells in there, and we'll put the sheep blood in the top here, I don't actually know how this thing works, um, but it, it just says that you need to put these things in the organized fashion as it is now. Um, I, I don't know if we have to be in survival mode or what. Um, this mod was just kind of glitched. I, I mean, uh, it, it has some issues and it wasn't ever changed from before but yeah you can create some clones with this and yeah so well it th th this is the layout that you should have i don't know if they're going to fix it in a future update they haven't updated it since 1.7.10 of course um but so this has been a half hour long mod showcase i do apologize um this it, it's quite the complex mod and it, you know fiddling around with it is a lot of fun because there's all kinds of abilities i will leave their website in the description of this mod showcase um, so that you can check out, go on their wiki, it will show you all the different abilities, it will show you, you know, it, it will have the explanations of all these different machines that I've got here, and it will have all the recipes for you. Um, so it really is kind of a fun mod to play with, just in, you know, if you have a house in survival mode, and you just, you know, it just kind of cool abilities. You know, like in the Jerry Bear Adventures mod pack, some of those abilities that I get, you know, from the Morph mod, I just kind of get used to. The reason I don't have this mod in the Jerry Bear Adventures mod pack is because that it's not compatible with some of the mods that I have. Go figure, I have 140 mods in the pack. Um, I'm really happy that, I'm, that I got the, uh, the mods to work here. As again, like I said before, the new launcher was having problems with mods. I don't know why. Hopefully I can get the Jerry Bear Adventures mod pack going up again for you. And I'm sorry that I haven't had videos for three months. I really hope that you did enjoy this mod showcase um, with the Advanced Genetics mod. Um, and if you did, please do comment, like, and subscribe to join the Jerry Bear Den. And I will see you all later. Bye!